little update on the trailer. She's already getting a little dirty. Stole her from Anton's house because the Camaro, she is leaving us today. It's way too hot in there. Hopefully it starts. I'm gonna be really disappointed if it doesn't. Please, please, we don't have a jump pack here. God, my life will be so good. Pop it. Maybe I just got a shaker. Oh, God. Go ahead. Go. Go. This is stupid. Go. Nice. Keep it running. All right, guys. So, the Camaro's leaving us today. I'm actually bringing this to Nils, the fabricator. We worked out a deal a couple videos ago, maybe a couple weeks ago. Um, I told you guys that I had that IS300 that I wanted to make a pro car and stuff. The more me and Nils talked, it wasn't really the best competition car out there. And he did have another car that was well more set up. It has an angle kit, has coilovers. He's gonna put a full cage in it. And at the end of the day, it's a better chassis for what we wanna do. And it's gonna save me money in the long run because it already has all this stuff. And he's willing to trade this thing because he wants the engine out of it and stuff for this car. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go there now. We're gonna load this all up and see what it's all about. I'm actually really excited because the IS, it was gonna be pretty pricey. You gotta put a full FD cage in it because you might as well just put the full cage and not have to worry about it again. And at least with this trade, he's given me a ton of money off the cage and stuff. So I'm very happy for it. Let's load this thing up. You gotta straighten it out. That was totally worth the wood snap for sure. That one snapped a little. This one didn't oh, even bro. snap though. Sauce bro. We already knew that was gonna happen. Nails is gonna take this whole thing apart anyways. Listen, we had our fun. Dude, I'm tripping from being in that car. Dude, it's the heat wave. Oh, so we have a good announcement. Will is officially quitting vaping. For the Australian boys, because he doesn't want to get beat up by a bogan. No, it's not even that, it's just convenience. Also, that 14 hour plane ride, probably can't vape on the 14 hour. Wait a minute, you need nicotine for a 14 hour plane ride? I don't need it, but. So what are you gonna do? Zin pouch. A Zin pouch, what is that? Tobacco in no, the mouth? No, just nicotine, no tobacco. So it's not a lip. It's a little pouch with just a lot of nicotine? What if you get sick? No, 0.3. Have you tried it? Yeah, I've already done them. And you like them. Yeah, Should I try it? Bad. You think I would get sick? No, I, I, so you're supposed to be able to like swallow these. Oh, because, God, that like, sounds awful. Well, no, because it's not, it doesn't have like tobacco in it. So you're supposed to be able to swallow them. I can't swallow them. It like burns the fuck out of my throat. <laughs> that doesn't seem good. So I still spit it, but. <laughs> so what are you, I'm going to be sitting next to you on this plane and you're going to be spitting in a bottle? I can't wait to film that. I'm not going to be doing it fucking like, I'm not going to have one in the whole time. Tomorrow's the big day. Yeah, I'm fucking nervous, dude. Are you ready for this, though? I guess so. <laughs> Tomorrow's the big freaking day. We're going to JFK. We're going to be partying, dude, for 24 hours. It's a 24-hour trip to get there. It's crazy. So, like, dude, the way I... We leave LA at, like, 11 o'clock. So, it's like, hopefully at that time, I'm a little tired. Get on the plane. Yeah, hopefully sure. sleep for a little, because then we land in Sydney at 6 in the morning. Yeah. You know? So, it's like, even if I wake up at 4, you know... Whatever you gotta tell yourself, man. It's still 10 hours, I gotta try and get through there. I pack Xanax. I can prescribe Xanax for long plane rides, so I'm good that I'm good there. Yeah, that's why I got my nicotine to get me through. You got your fucking Xanax. Well, it's prescribed. Your nicotine's not prescribed. Bottom of the line, you're not doing it sober. <laughs> Whatever. <We're laughs> you're on something to get you through it. <laughs> so long, wish I could say I'm gonna miss you, but I won't. See ya. So now that we're not really going to be doing much with this, considering we got that car underneath that tarp, which I'll show you guys in a second. If anyone needs an IS300 shell, um, I'm not going to part it out or anything. Just um, hit up Matt, Instagram right here. I don't know. What do you think for this shell? 2500? It's got coilovers. It's got some goodies in it. It's got the wide body. Sick wide body. Sickish wide body. So for a drift car. 2500 bucks. Um, hit up Matt right here. Let us know. If not, no biggie. Oh, it's got a cool... Fucking diffuser. Look at this exhaust. That thing, that's gotta be worth some fucking rice points right there. Yeah. So, let us know. All right, here she is, the new beater. So we got the E46 right here. Reason why I wanna do this is it's already got the SLR. It's got coilovers. Nails is hooking me up with a good cage to actually be legit and stuff. And let's be real. 
How much cooler is a 2J E46 rather than the IS300 with the stock engine in it, you know? Yeah. Like, this thing is going to be fucking rowdy. Uh, we're probably going to end up, like, taking the windows out and stuff, which Nils is kind of selling me on, too. I, I'm kind of a glass boy, but I guess if it's going to be, like, that Look professional. The no, no, the 370 shattered. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, I get shattered. you. Shattered. That's why you. you take the well, glass I'm, out. I'm hoping that... By the time this is done, I'll be like good enough that I'm not crashing into everything. Cause yeah. I cr I crash a lot. You do, but you know, crap. <laughs> cra You're really fucking laying it on thick right now, aren't you? Wait no, till no. you get behind the wheel. I'll smash right into that motherfucking thing. All right. But that'll be fun. Here it is. I mean, there's not really much to show. There's no engine in it or anything. But um, Nils is gonna take it from here and um, I'm just gonna check up on the progress every now and then it's way cooler than that car really i just want a sick 2j car making six seven hundred horsepower that can make cool noises and burn some rubber blow some fucking clouds yep and it's cool that it's got all the goodies already oh he's got a whole um chassis harness as well chassis body, body harness yeah yeah he's got a whole body harness custom and everything so really all we need is an engine huh well we need a lot but we're gonna figure it out down the road i'm not gonna go <laughs> ahead and list it all but this is it it's much better if you think i'm dumb fuck off anyways next clip so i'm an idiot i don't even remember what i got it's not slr it's actually wise fab which in my opinion i think is better i guess i've never driven wise fab so i can't say that but in coilovers it's got some goodies dude what are these the iscs iscs yeah. yep it's got the goodies man chase bays, chase bays break, break. yeah i don't know how i feel about that is that good i've never tried it you've never tried it no well i guess we're gonna find out i mean i personally like a booster but once again if it's a race car like this thing is only gonna be a race car you know like i'm not getting this built to be some fucking street car which i'm an idiot so i'm probably going to drive it on the street anyways oh for sure but that's really not the point of this it's not that cool right now but it will be sick it'll be cool one day when um we have some updates and stuff i'll let you guys know but here she is <sighs> t minus 24 hours before we're on that plane how do you feel about that yeah almost Jeez, it's 4 30 yeah, in 30 minutes it's gonna be 24 hours until we're on the plane to lax and then it's time. That is It's crazy. my first time on, on the West Coast, actually. I've never been other than Colorado. Yeah, me too. We're going to have to take a California trip. Anyways, dude, people are saying we're not going to be able to handle this Australia shit. Like, they're saying, like, they're kind of wild. And, like, I like to think I'm a pretty wild guy. Yeah. Like, uh, no, you're definitely, in the sense of alcohol terms, you are way if, more but, wild than me. If I'm hanging, you're hanging. You're doing what I'm doing. That That's, because we're, we're going to be, we're going to be, you know, we're going to be Bonnie doing. and Clyde this I'm just telling you, I physically cannot do what you do. For all the Aussies out there, we're gonna push Will together. No, dude, I'm not. <laughs> I get fucking blackout every night. That's I'm not, not telling you to get blackout. Dude, if I keep up I'm with saying... you, I'm getting normal drunk, and if I keep up with you, I'll be blacked the fuck out, dude. Because you normal drunk, let's say you have 10 drinks. I'm fucking wasted off 10 drinks, dude. I don't drink like you. What, you're, you're making me out to be some type of alcoholic right you now. You just, you, you're just a drinker. Like, you can handle it. I'm Drinking just, is fun. I, I just can't you. handle it. I'm down to have a great time. I'm just saying, dude. Well, I'm just saying, if we're going out with the Aussies and they want to drink, we got we can't disrespect their culture. No, that's I'm what I'm saying. I'm not going to not disrespect their culture, but I'm also not trying to get blackout drunk every night because that's not fun. Let's be real here. That's not fun. I want to go to Australia. How many have times fun. have you blacked out? Like probably two, three times. Really? I don't think I've ever actually blacked out. Like I've been so drunk to the point where I can't see straight and like puked my brains out, but like I remember everything. I always remember things. But like Hyperfest, dude, that was the most drunk I've been in a long time. And was that fun? Uh, it was until it wasn't. Exactly. I had to sleep exactly. with my head outside the tank because I was puking my exactly. fucking brains out, we dude. just go to Australia. I had like 18 drink. mixed drinks in thir 30 minutes. Exactly. Because I was point. hanging out with Dimitri and he just had that fucking blender. Matt put the clip in. <laughs> living life I'm until, saying, until I wasn't. Dude, I'm not that guy. I'll hang. Good. But that's that's all we can ask for is yeah. you could try to hang. Yeah. You know? I'm just saying I'm not trying to get belligerently drunk and not have a good time. Anyways, to give you guys a backstory about the Camaro, um, I, I ended up trading Tommy some things for the Camaro. So I ended up getting the Camaro for 3800 bucks. And the reason why I did this 
trade was obviously me and Will were going on a trip and the Camaro is just gonna sit yes I could have sold it got some money in my pocket but I much rather just have like a car being built on the side so like when that thing is ready we're gonna be full drift car ready we can go pro-am we can try clutch kickers like I just want a car that is really gonna help me progress my skill like my Z is just kind of the the crasher and it doesn't really matter and I did this is because it had its wise fab wise fabs about three thousand dollars I'm getting a full cage Nils charges anywhere from I don't know twenty six to three thousand dollars for a cage and he's given it to me for like ninety percent off which is super sick for included in our trade it's got a full body harness like custom made body harness and we're gonna do all of the cool switches and rear mounted radiator and all of the cool things like that and it's already got two J mounts it's got the brake booster delete, which I don't really care for, but I guess we'll see how that goes. And it also has coilovers as well. So it looks like a shit box right now. I guess it is kind of a shit box, but. We did, it looks just like the IS. Yeah, it's exactly. The same state as the I, IS. Exactly. But I figured since it has the wide angle, since I'm getting the deal, because if I, if I did the IS300, I was going to have to cough up all that money in the cage and all of that. And I think I fit more in an E46 than I do in an IS300, personally. Yeah, no, the E46 is way sicker. Yeah, so I just wanted to break it down because I knew I kind of just like jump cutted that whole thing and kind of just showed you. To be honest, we're just running around today trying to get ready for Australia because me and Will are both idiots and we haven't touched one thing until now. And we have to get up at 10 to go to the airport. We haven't packed one thing, so. You know, it's all good. It's all good. We got our nice power inverter. We're ready to go. Dude, we're ready. Honestly, shout out to Max because I completely forgot to buy those and we would have been fucked without that. So, yeah. thank you, Max. But we're just gonna go unload the IS and I guess get packing because we're also, fucking ready. This. Oh yeah, that, we just found all those today. We lose everything because we're idiots. All right, dude, well, I'll see you in the morning. I'll see you in the morning. Good luck. Thank you, you too. Think about that plane ride. It's dangerous out there. It is dangerous out there. We're going 14 hours. Yeah, hopefully the pilot fucking got some sleep. Um, well, I think they're auto. Autopilots well, hopefully most of the, the time. Fucking ECU and the fucking plane decides to do the right yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm sure that's how that works. Hey, you never know. <laughs> Bye. All right. So one last dumb thing I have to do before I leave for Australia is I'm renting my car <laughs> to this fucking goof. Don't no, crash so, her. I'm not gonna crash it. You know, Probably. everyone's gonna call me an idiot, but it's okay. You don't have to say it in the comments. I already know, but you know, free car payment for the month. Like, it's a win-win for me, or a win-win for us, because you get a cool car for the month, and I don't have to pay a car payment. You know, so it's like. <laughs> I'm cool with it. Yeah. It's worth it to me. So David's gonna have my car for a month. If he crashes it, we're just gonna end his career. We're gonna end his career. I might crash. It. But um, I forgot that I had this speeding ticket from Virginia. We still gotta pay this. I'm gonna bring it to Australia and ship it there because I forgot about it. And now we don't have time to do it. Fun stuff. Man, well today is the day. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh man, we're we're about to travel for 26 hours straight. Fun. 26 freaking before. hours. Yeah, we're going like from JFK to LAX, from LAX to Sydney to Sydney to Brisbane. So it's gonna be a long time. I'm definitely excited to do this daily vlog thing with you guys. Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really excited for the E46. Obviously, it's not gonna be done like anytime like now, but hopefully in the next couple months, like Nils will be working on it a little bit and it will be done sooner rather than later. It'll definitely get done a lot sooner someone else doing it than me and Will. That's for damn sure. So it's going to be a long ride. It's going to be a long fucking ride. But Luke, I'm ready to party. So uh, I'll see you guys there. Delta Airlines. Thank you for the two, hour, two and a half hour drive, dude. Yeah, Appreciate that. Fucking New York blowing my shot. Ah, so. My hips hey. just got sweaty. You're nervous? Yeah. That's sick. It's good. It's good to be. It's good to be nervous sometimes. Yeah, I'm nervous. Keeps you on edge. Okay, sure, yeah. Sure. Will didn't get to bring his dab pen because he's going internationally. No derbs. Yeah, first time. No derbs. No derbs. <laughs> first time. <laughs> wow. First time. Oh, I need this ticket. I'm gonna send it when um, I get to Australia. I forgot about it. I hope they let me bring this. We'll see. Probably not, but we gotta try. This is all I'm bringing to Australia right here. It's job egg. You got your passport. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Okay. Well, since we're going to be gone for um, a month, maybe a little longer because we're going somewhere else as well, I got this big ass backpack full of so much camera gear. We're really going to try to change up the vlogs this trip. Um, Matt's staying home, so Matt's 
only job is to edit these videos to the best of his ability and, sell and your crap. into our oh and sell my crap as well. Yeah, we got to get rid of some cars. So uh, my mine and Will's job is to drone every day, get you great shots, show you Australia, and just party like it's we're gonna die, right? What? Party with the bogans until we die. Not dying, dude. That's. <laughs> Well, I hope we don't die, but that's don't the objective. Don't make that statement, because then we're going to die. Oh. So, you're superstitious? Yeah, a little bit. Oh. We're going to party and have a great fucking time. We're going to have Here a problem. Here we come, Australia. See you next month. All right. I'll tell you what, man. Out of every single thing in the world that I can be doing right now, this is probably one of the last things I would expect myself doing. So, how's it going? It's Saturday. You know, I'm supposed to land in Brisbane in about three hours, but instead, I'm walking the streets of Torrington because I rented out my car. All my cars are in storage and I don't really know what to do, so I'm kind of walking to the gym, but um, give you a little backstory. You guys know we were just at the airport yesterday, everything was going good, we went to go check in, and the Delta clerk, they stopped us, and we're like, huh, of course, of course there's a problem here, why wouldn't there be a fucking problem? And she said, she explained to us that we needed a visa to get into Australia. I was unaware of needing a visa, I always thought, like, that's what passports are for, like, I've been to Japan. I've been to UK, Netherlands, Germany. I've been a lot of places and I've never needed a visa of any sort. Just thought that's what the passport was for. But regardless, she was like, oh, it's not really a big deal. Like you can just fill it out online. It takes 15 minutes. I'm like, okay, yeah. So she took my phone. She, um, she got me to the form and we filled it out. No problem, it was $100 each, but whatever, right? And she's like, yeah, just step to the side for 15 minutes, um, everything will be good. So I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. So we're, we're waiting, 15 minutes goes by, not approved. 30 minutes goes by, not approved. And I was, I, I, I tried my best to be prepared. We were four hours early to our plane ride because I just didn't, I didn't want any chances. So waited, hour goes by, two hours goes by, three hours goes by, and now we're, they, they cut your baggage off at like an hour before your flight takes off. And I go back up, I'm like, hey, this still isn't approved, like, at least just get me on, like, the flight to, like, L.A. because, um, maybe it'll get approved by then. And then I said, oh, sorry, we can't let you on a plane because the visa's not approved. Even though it's a domestic flight, they wouldn't let me on, and that's that. So at this point, I'm trying to get in touch with any Australian I know. I'm messaging Luke, but when it's in the middle of the day here, they're 14 hours ahead, so it's in the middle of the night there. So I'm messaging this dude at like 3.30 in the morning. So sadly, Luke didn't get to me in time. Once I kind of texted them all and I told them the bad news, we were already going home from JFK. The plane already took off. Everything was like kind of over. And he was just like, dude, all you needed to do was download this Australian ETA app. It's literally a phone app. You do the form, it takes 15 minutes, and it's $10 instead of 100 bucks. And on my way home, I literally did it. And 10 minutes later, I was approved to get into Australia. So then I spent no bullshit, I'm not even exaggerating. I spent 13 hours yesterday on the phone trying to get it all figured out, trying to get reimbursed and like, not an asshole. I bought insurance for these tickets because I was just like, listen, I'm accident prone. Like I fuck up a lot. Like if I'm spending $5,000 on tickets, I might as well get the $1,000 insurance. So I was covered. Delta, they were being a pain. Expedia was being a pain. Everyone was being a pain. I'm trying to get tickets the next day. They don't have them. I'm trying to get tickets for Sunday. They don't have them. All Delta wants to do is give me credit and not money so I can only use a Delta flight. And the Delta flights were literally quadruple the prices of anything else. Shocker. It was a fucking nightmare. So 3 a.m. last night, I finally came to a resolution, I think. They finally said they're going to reimburse my 5200 I paid six grand, but $800 was insurance. They're going to reimburse my 5200 bucks, and it takes 10 days, but I don't have a receipt or anything. I was like, are you going to send me an email? They're like, yeah, the email should come in 24 hours. So I'm kind of hoping the email comes, and I just bought more plane tickets. So I'm currently $11,000 in these fucking Australia tickets. I'm pretty upset about it. If I get if I get reimbursed for the other ones, it's no big deal. Honestly, these tickets were even less than the tickets that I bought a month and a half ago, which doesn't really make much sense. But we're leaving Monday. We're leaving Monday, and um, what a shit show. I'm walking because I rented my car out. All my cars are in fucking storage, and um, yeah. 
So I'll just walk into the gym. I could have called like Will or Matt or someone, but I was just like, you know what, man? Let's just walk. It's a nice day out. It's a stressful day yesterday. Let's just walk it out. So <sighs> we're not in Australia yet. We're getting there though. Now I'm fucking determined. 13 hours on the phone, dude. One of the worst days. Oh, it was disgusting, but just figured that I'd share that with you. We weren't allowed in Australia. Well, we can tell Gorilla was here. Gorilla, learn how to freaking drive your car. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Dude, you. we just stopped at Goodwill. So all Grillo does with his life is play on the computer, right? We stopped works at Goodwill. It. Yeah, works on it, works from home, everything. Because he wanted a dollar keyboard. This dude stacks money. This dude's rich. You ever uh, see Grillo jump him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, Don't I, jump I him. because I got six dollars in my wallet right now. I never carry cash. You're not going to get money yeah. from me. Dude's rich and we're at Goodwill shopping for a dollar yeah, keyboard because he doesn't want to get like a razor or something. It's not like he needs like a good one, dude. He needs like a, a K120, like the cheapest it's like It's like annoying. Dude's got more money in his bank account than I do because he just sits and does, just works and sits at home. But we're going to end the video right here. Just had to go on that little rant. Okay, Australia, go. Monday. Australia, Monday. Get ready for it. I'm very excited. It kind of bombed that. I should have done a little more research. I understand that, but in my defense, no, why the? You were, you were steered wrong. It's not. No, no, I definitely was steered wrong. But why do you need a visa to go somewhere when you got a passport? I think it's, it's, just, it's a weird move. Yeah. It's a weird move. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Sorry about the whole daily vlog thing, but 13 hours on the phone kind of gets distracted a little bit. See ya.